On December 1, 2015, Rent and Prep got assigned a project called the Gingerbread Man Trap Project. The goal of this project is to successfully capture a gingerbread man in a trap each team constructs. This trap must include a simple machine or an electrical mechanical component. Teams have to find a way to have the gingerbread man move to the trap or for the trap to move to the gingerbread man. Teams also have to create a story around their trap and why their gingerbread man is being trapped. Our team had many ideas. These included dropping a cage onto the gingerbread man or luring him into a house that would trap him. We researched different types of traps on Discovery and using other sources. What we ultimately ended up deciding on was that the gingerbread man would step on a pressure plate made of foil which would cause an Arduino to start a motor that would drop a cage onto him. An Arduino is a circuit board. You can program it to do certain things based on how it receives input and telling it what to output. In our circuit, we have a switch pin and a motor pin. A switch is something that completes a circuit so that electricity can flow. We use foil as a switch so when they came into contact, the circuit would close. We used this as a pressure plate and put it under our cardboard balcony and connected it to our Arduino. When our switch pin connected to the ground and 5 volt pin on our Arduino gets information that the switch turned on and the circuit closes, a signal is sent through our motor pin into a transistor which splits the current, one current into the ground and one current to the motor. Before the wire reaches the motor, it goes through a diode. A diode makes sure that electricity can only flow in one direction. This ensures that possible energy produced by the motor cannot flow back into our circuit to damage it. All of our research, sketches, proposals, and self-assessments were put into our steam notebook. After we finished planning out our design, we got to the baking and building. On Friday, December 4th, our team spent our time learning about and programming the Arduino, as well as documenting. The next day, our team baked and constructed our gingerbread house and gingerbread man out of architectural dough and royal icing. The gingerbread house we made was 6x6 and by 9, while the balcony was 6x6x6. By six by six. While the pieces of the house were baking, they were bent around the corners and the sides weren't straight. This made it harder to connect the pieces together with royal icing. But in the end, it worked. The balcony and cage were made of cardboard. On Monday, December 7th, we tested our design. There were problems with the Arduino, as it would turn on and off. Eventually, we found out that the battery had died. The cage was also too big to fit through the smaller hole. As we got to presenting it, it began to work again. For our redesign process, the only thing we needed to change was the size of our cage, what we originally planned on changing the next day. Along with changing the size of our cage, the Arduino wouldn't work at times, the real arm broke, and we found a way for our ginger red man to stand. After redesigning, it ended up being able to work by the end of the time given. However, the next day, it started to work when we didn't want it to and stopped working when we did want it to work. We attribute this problem to wear and tear over continuous testing, as well as some faulty wiring. This project incorporated STEAM, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Mathematics. This project incorporates science by using simple machines along with testing, failing, and retesting phases. The technology incorporated in this project includes the wiring and use of an Arduino, as well as research of these topics. The Arduino also incorporates the aspect of engineering. The art incorporated in this project is the drawing and sketching of blueprints. Math is incorporated through the coding as we use symbolic logic. If the current is on, then we turn off the motor. Otherwise, we keep the motor on. We learned many things from this project such as how to wire an Arduino, learning how to code it to spin a motor, and how to mold and bake gingerbread to create the house. But we also learned how we should keep trying regardless of how many failures there are. We learned how to work under constraints such as time and materials which will occur in the outside world.